Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial. I recently sent out a question to our patrons to see what tutorials they would like in the future. Uh, one of those tutorials was a rust effect. And this is perfect because not too long ago I finished painting a Nurgle army. And in this Nurgle army I focused a lot of attention on trying to generate a good rust effect on their weapons, chainmail, and parts of their armor. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on the rusted weapons, but the principle for the technique is much the same, whatever you apply this to. I really hope that you're going to enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin! For the palette I'm using Citadel Rhinox Hide, Scale 75 Kalahari Orange, Scale 75 Mars Orange, Citadel Troll Slayer Orange, Citadel Lead Belcher, and Scale 75 Speed Metal. This Nurgle Blight King has been primed and undercoated with black. I like to start my figures with a dark color uh, to increase the contrast of the colors that are applied after. I start by painting the whole blade with Rhinox Hide. Two thin coats do the job. The second step is to mix the Rhinox Hide with Kalahari Orange to create a bridge between the two colors. This helps to make the step between the dark brown and the base orange less extreme and softer. After this has dried, I apply a layer of pure Kalahari orange. I apply the paint by stippling the color onto the center of the blade leaving a very thin layer of dark brown closer to the center divide and the edges of the blade as you can see here. This is a very organic process so if you get some of the center divide it's totally fine. Actually you'll see me go over the center divide multiple times on purpose to smooth out that center. It helps to make it look a little bit more realistic. The fourth layer is a mix of Kalahari Orange and Mars Orange. I apply this layer similar to the previous layers by stippling and leaving a bit of the previous layer exposed. After this, we apply in a similar fashion just pure Mars Orange to the blade. Now, you can leave the rusty colors like this, which have earthy oranges and browns, but if you're like me, who likes to play more with color and saturation, you can add some Troll Slayer Orange to really make it colorful and fun. I mix in the Troll Slayer Orange to the Pure Mars Orange to make it a bridge in between the two colors, and I add it to certain locations on the blade. And lastly, I do a few dots and spots of pure Troll Slayer Orange. Now that we have the rust effect done on the blade, we're going to scrape the edges, the center divide, and a few spots on the blade with Lead Belcher. And lastly, I use speed metal to bring out the edges a bit more. I especially focus on the parts like the tip of the sword and the corners of the broken parts. And 
that's it. This technique is a bit more of a process than dry brushing the blade with Risa Rust, but you get more control over how to paint it on your weapons. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I want to thank all of our patrons for their support. Mark Alexander, uh, Seamus, Jonathan Edlund, Jason D. Fluffer, Carl Martin, Matt Rutowski, and Mike Elkins. If you want to contribute to these tutorials so that we can continue to improve them, please follow the links below to our Patreon page. Any help is appreciated. But if you can't, that's totally fine. I'm really glad that you decided to watch this video. What you can do is you can give us a like, a subscription, and a comment to tell us about your project or if you have any wishes for tutorials you want to see in the future. I also want to thank everyone who purchased one of our shirts. If you want to get one of my sweet screen printed eco-friendly shirts, please go to www.oscarlars.com shop. The editing for this video was done by the amazing Martin Crane. The palette used in this video is the Redgrass Studio Wet Palette. You can purchase it and any other Redgrass products by going to www.oscarlars.com shop. Using this link or any other links there automatically contributes to these videos. Thank you everyone who watched this video. Please share, like, and subscribe and leave a comment down below for any wishes of future tutorials. Have an awesome rest of your day and happy painting.